Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, so today, following on from last uh, the last video, where I looked at the Devia board from JJ Robots, uh, today we're going to have a look at the B Robot Evo 2, which is their balancing robot. So let's roll the intro and get into it. Okay, so before we have a look at um, the B Robot Evo 2 in action, because um, it does actually, I've built it and it does actually work, uh, I thought we'd just actually have a look at it and go over the parts of it um, in detail before we can before we have a look at it. So one thing I wanted to say actually at the start before we get into it, which I didn't say in the last video, is that uh, it's probably a good idea when you first get the Devia board is that you can actually put some test code on it um, and that's all supplied from JJ Robots and what that actually does is that it allows you to make sure that the board's working okay and that there's no problems with it so I did all that uh, and it worked absolutely fine so that's why I moved on with the project so probably should do that first if you're thinking about building an, a, a robot from there so let's have a look at my B Robot Evo. So it's pretty easy to construct. Um, it's made up of three or four um, 3D printed parts. Um, and again, as I said in the last video, if you haven't got a 3D printer, you can buy everything as a kit. So you can buy um, the 3D printed parts, you can buy separately um, the control board, the stepper motors. Uh, that's all available so the only thing I had to buy which I didn't have and because I'm not using a battery box like uh, they show in their video and on the website is I'm using a LiPo battery and I needed a 90 degree power connector so it's the only thing I've had to buy but everything else I already had so if we start at the bottom we'll go up we'll go through what you need and what this is actually made of so first of all, we've got two NEMA 17 stepper motors. Um, now these come out of an old 3D printer, so um, the only thing you would have to check is that the the stepper motors that you decide to use, or um, or of course if you buy it, you'll be fine. But they have to have the the right amount of um, holding torque, um, so that's so that the robot can actually move itself. Um, but these were fine, these are actually higher rated than the ones that they would sell with it. So, stepper motor is there. And then if I just tilt it slightly, you can see we've got the Devia board inside, in there. Um, and I'm just using um, some 4988A stepper motor drivers. Um, so I've got loads of them laying around and they work absolutely fine in this. Um, We've got a servo on the side, which is for the little arm. Um, now, because I've got the battery on top, the LiPo battery, this is a three cell uh, LiPo. This arm doesn't always, so what the arm is meant to do is actually help right the, the robot if it falls over, or you can just like flail your arm around. Um, but it doesn't always lift up because I think there's a little bit more weight on here than what there would normally be. Um, and it's certainly more weight at the top. Whereas the battery box that you can use if you buy this as a kit or if you buy the box separately, which would go in here, is more down the bottom. So when I show you the video, you'll see that it doesn't always pick it up. Um, and then over this side, so what I decided to do is actually install a separate um, rocker switch. So this, I can turn the robot on and off just with the switch but rather than having to pull the XT60 connector out. Um, but apart from that, it's pretty, so, and there's also the servo which actually controls the arm. So um, I had to buy those separately as well. Um, but all the information that you could need if you wanted to buy this separately or build this um, without buying a kit is all on the website. The only thing that um, was a little bit lacking 
although I did eventually find it in a, an older build video, is all the sizes of the, the screws and the nuts and everything. So in the description below, I'm going to put a complete bomb of what I've used so that if you did want to do it separately, you can do so. Um, but apart from that, that is pretty much it. And it looks really cool. So even the, the wheels are 3D printed. Um, uh, I'll bring it in so you can see. And hopefully that will focus. Um, but I even... I don't think it's going to focus. But uh, I've printed the tyres as well out of um, some flexible filament. And they go on there really nicely um, and actually provide the grip that the robot needs. So, yeah, that's the, the actual robot. Um, built all okay. So, I'm going to now take it outside and I'll show you what it looks like when it's working. So yeah, there you go. So there's the B Robot Evo 2 in action. Um, now you probably would have seen from that clip uh, a couple of issues I'm having. 
One being, obviously, that it's a little bit heavier on top, so it doesn't always self-right itself with its arm. Um, and another issue with the arm, I don't know if you would have noticed, is that sometimes it oscillates, like it, it I don't know if it's interference or, I don't know what it is. Um, so I, I did reach out to JJ Robot and they suggested it could be interference from basically where the cables are running, um, but there's not really a lot I can do about changing where the cables go. So I'm probably just gonna, uh, as this is gonna be a robot that gets moved around or the control board gets moved around, I'm not gonna worry too much about it. Um, it you saw it would have, it righted itself a couple of times. I think when it's um, on ground where it's slightly raised up anyway, it's, it, it's enough to get it going, um, but it doesn't always self right. But that again, I think it's because I've got too much weight on the top. Um, and the only other thing is that the weight, unless you're on a very flat, um, constant surface, like say tarmac, a tarmac area, the car park, for example, the wheels can get stuck. Um, so mine got stuck in the, the paving slab, as you saw. But apart from that, it's pretty nimble and it, it moves around quite easily. Um, so it's actually all controlled um, via a mobile, mobile phone. So I'll just bring up um, the app. So the JJ Robots app. So what basically happens is that um, when you turn the robot on and lay it down, it does its calibration so it knows that it's basically laying down and it's ready to go and it creates its own Wi-Fi you can then connect to that on your phone um, and you basically get a control so obviously forwards, backwards, um, turn left and right and then two servos um, and it's pretty cool so because I'm using or that I've got a battery indicator so I know how much battery I've got it will actually tell you um, Fire a picture if it's tilted or um, what orientation it's in, uh, and there's also a pro mode, which basically increases um, the response time, and you can go a little bit faster as well. Um, but doing it in the back garden on pavement slabs is not very easy. You can get a bit of speed up, um, but again, because of the way I've got. The battery and the weight distribution is not particularly stable so probably stay off the pro mode for a little while um, but overall I'm incredibly happy with how this first robot came out um, and you know for a few printed parts uh, and a control board and some step um, stepper motors is quite an easy project to do so if you saw the last video and we're thinking about whether you should get one, uh, get a DeVia board or not, then hopefully seeing that you can just build something like this really easily. Um, I did nothing to the code, um, I just uploaded it as I did the test code, uh, and that's really easy with uh, the Arduino IDE, you just select the right board, the COM port, the com port and upload. Um, Perhaps the only thing I would say about that is that my version of the Arduino IDE didn't initially have the correct board in. Um, that may be different if you download a fresh copy, but all I had to do was go to the board manager uh, and search for the, uh, I think it's Arduino Zero, if I just check my thing. So yeah, the Arduino Zero is the, the board it looks for. and it just added it and it worked absolutely fine so yeah so for our first JJ Robots DeVia board project I'm really happy with it um, if you've got any questions put them down in the comments um, I'm gonna be playing around with it a little bit more um, maybe try and reroute the battery and try and get it so it's a little bit more stable um, and also have a look at that the oscillating servo arm if I can sort that out um, but other than that it's pretty cool um, 
and I'm going to be looking at the next project that we can do with the board in a couple of weeks, maybe a couple of months. Um, so yeah, that's that's the end of the video. I'm really, again, really happy with how it's turned out, and it's quite fun just driving it around and seeing how quite nimble it is. So that's pretty cool. Um, so thank you for watching. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, and until the next time, keep on making. Mm -hmm.